I'm just here to work out, Sonny. That's it. You call this keeping your distance? You're the one that walked over here. You you call hanging out with my ex-wife and my children keeping your distance? I call it lunch. I like the burgers at Bobby's. You know why you walked into Bobby's, because you wanted to get information out of Carly. I'm going to stop you right there. As much as we both hate this, and we both do, I'm trying to keep you alive. So yeah, I talked to Carly, and I will talk to your children, and I will talk to your bodyguards, and your housekeepers, and your barista, and your doorman, and your priest. I will talk to whomever I want, whenever I want, and until you get jurisdiction over the FBI or simply die of shame, there is nothing you can do to stop me. Isn't Carrie's birthday around now? Karen. You don't get to call her cute little pet names. Not in front of me anyway. You know what, listen, okay, okay. It is her birthday, I remember. Because um, Stone bought her this beautiful cake and she was really Save touched. Save it for someone who can stand the sound of your voice. Relax, Agent Kate. Just seeing you again brings back so many memories, especially of your brother Stone, who was a great kid. Funny, generous, incredibly brave, but you wouldn't know nothing about that because you took off when he needed you most. What's Dad doing? You know what, I take that back, because you did visit him once. Stone was dying of AIDS, and you managed to take some time out of your busy schedule, and yeah, I guess you visited him for like one hour. You know nothing about me and my brother. What I do know is you didn't take care of him. You didn't take care of your brother. And you hate the air I breathe. And it didn't matter to you that I sat by him, holding his hand, listening to his fears while you took off with Karen, living your best life. Then you cheated on her. She divorced you. You're not only a bad husband, you're a bad brother. No! Whoa, back up. You want to do that again? You want to? Yeah! Let's go. What the hell are you thinking? What do you mean, what am I thinking? I didn't raise my hand. He's the one who lost his school. Oh, yeah, because you're baiting the guy. OK, he's trying to help you. Help me. What do you mean he's trying to? Jeff, don't worry about it. He's trying to help you, so am I. No, I, I just think you're getting in the way right now. You just stand, stand, stand down, Agent Cates. You're Michael Corinthos. Yeah, that's right. Well, in case you haven't noticed it, Michael, your dad is losing it. He's sloppy and out of control. Okay, the only punches I saw were coming from you. Well, if that's all you saw, then you need to open your eyes. Sonny always brings out the best in people, doesn't he? Aren't federal agents required to follow a code of behavior regardless of who they're dealing with? Tell your dad to be careful. His luck is running out. <laughs>